Good morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time of the day is you're watching. But for me, it's morning time. We are starting off today in the garage. We got to uh, try to load up just the last bit. I know it kind of looks like trash, but it's it's actually just closed. It's going up to the new house. We got to drop that off. I already tried this this morning. Did not work out. Try loading that. Uh, well, there you go. That into my that didn't work. I told Sarah I wanted an elk chandelier inside the house, but there's one thing that it doesn't fit in, and it's my truck. So. Anyway, we got the boat yesterday. I'm super jacked to show you guys it. I, I did do a poll on Instagram and Twitter to make sure that you guys actually wanted to see a walkthrough video and for me to show it. Uh, I still have all my tackle right there, which I got to put in later today. So you guys will actually see where I'm putting it inside the boat and in the layout. I don't exactly know where we're going to stick stuff other than in the center. You'll see why when, when I show you guys the center part of the boat is is like the haven of tackle. So anyway, now that boat is set up phenomenally. The way the decks are laid out, I just wanna say thank you once again to Skeeter and to Fun and Son for making this happen. I've been using the Skeeter for a couple years now and they finally stepped up and they said, you know what, let's give it a shot. Let's work with old Lunkers TV. And I think they might be working with some others, but you know, we'll just, we'll let that be for now. So I'm pretty jacked. I can't wait to show you guys. And you know, what, before we roll into it, maybe Steven will give you guys somewhat of like a little B-roll segment from yesterday because we did film a little bit. I'll just let him, we'll, we'll see what Steven comes up with and I'll see you guys here in a second. She doesn't want to admit it, but today is a very, very big day for her. Like, I would say it's probably the third biggest day of her life. Number one is Avery. Number two, me, of course. Number three is the fact that she got those, where are those at? Let me see those keys. Look at them, she's already got them on her, on her key ring, look at that. We got the keys to, uh, to, to her new store. Remember I told you guys a while back we were opening up a store for her. We finally got the keys to it today. We're going to go inside of it. We're going to look around. I haven't personally been inside of it. She's been inside of it once. I'm actually pretty excited. This is a big day for her. Yeah, it's a big day. Sarah, did you ever think this day would come? No. It's all you. I'm, I'm, I'm following you. This is your day. Everything's for you. So if you guys don't know, it's actually going to be in, in Denton. Almost, actually it is in downtown Denton. Downtown Denton, here in Denton, Texas. I don't think it starts here. This is something else. I think it starts here. No, not here yet. Okay. It starts right here. Is this, nope, nope. Right here, right here. Here we go. This is all yours. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Okay, one more. One more. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm here for you. So I'm just, I'm just following you. Aren't you excited? You can't even see inside of it. Big day, it's about to happen right on the corner. Look, there's uh, there's downtown Denton. Oh look, proud supporter of an American soldier. I don't know. Oh, it's a big day, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Mm. Oh, probably need a new door. <laughs> All right, here we go, real equity. So uh, yeah, this is, this is all for you. She's gonna be opening up a, uh, a boutique right here on the corner in downtown Denton. So imagine. Wood. That's wood. So, oh, I see what you mean. This is actually just a raised floor that's wood. Okay. So uh, yeah, just imagine when this is, all these windows are gonna replace. We're gonna put uh, double doors here, I believe. This will get knocked out. She's gonna have like a counter here. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be counter. This is going to be men's area, men's clothes. And this side is going to be women's. As you can tell, it's bigger. So, I don't know. It's going to be really awesome. I'm glad that she gets to do this and uh, start her own little venture. She's been, she's been around while I've been doing all these the last couple of years, so I'm glad she gets to do her own. I, I'm, I'm super kind of into this wall. Sarah, what about if we just kind of remove, remove the front of that? There's a toilet back there? No, there used to be a bathroom. Oh, we were talking about putting a bathroom? Oh, 
there was a bathroom. She's like, yeah, we need to stick a bathroom in. All right, what's back here? Okay, strange. So I'm telling you, I think you need to remove, look, oh my gosh, we can make this look awesome. Sarah, look, there's bars on these windows right here. Look at that. Knock this, knock this little wall stuff off right here, like this. Yeah, All the way down to the brick. Oh, Sarah, is there going to be brick on this wall too? Look, coming all the way down, there is, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, there is, look. This is going to look amazing. We're going to have brick walls in here. We're going to stain, be able to stain this floor. Cool. What's that? I'm seeing this with a weird room right here. Yeah, I think we knocked down all this right here. This would be wide open. This is going to look great. Oh, look at that. Mm. There's a little weird room right here. There's a window. That is very strange, actually. That is really weird. I don't want to be that guy, but this doesn't look like it was it's meant to do that right there. There's people walking by. See, there's some people. They're, these people right here are going to be customers. She right there, that lady, you guys can't see because it's too white. Yeah, that lady right there, she's going to be one of your customers someday, I promise you. Okay, quick rundown. Is that pretty much, is this pretty much, is this it? Is this what you're, you're thinking? Yeah. The thing I keep asking myself is what is behind all of these walls? Is it that ugly brick or is it the awesome brick? Because that is the awesome brick. I'll tell you guys right now, there's some, there's ugly brick in here. I'm personally, is that cement behind it? It's like all these walls. Yeah, you might be right. It looks like a lot of these walls were done in this ugly, this is pretty ugly brick right here. But this, this back wall is not, that's the good brick, which we'll be able to expose. That's going to be exposed. I'm somewhat worried about this wall. This is pretty ugly. You guys can tell it goes all the way up. I don't know what's going on here. Don't know what's going on right here. I don't really understand this. Hopefully we can remove that. I don't think any of that right there is structural whatsoever. I don't think any of that is structural. That isn't structural. That's just a creepy small room that makes no sense. This though, I'm telling you right now, this is going to look beautiful. Imagine all this exposed right here. I mean, this looks terrible like nowadays, but, but I think it looked good. Knock this son of a gun right out. I can knock it out for you right now if you want me. Oh, no, nope, definitely not going to because there's a metal beam right there. Maybe we won't be able to knock that wall out, but we can knock all this off. This is going to look great. I'm happy for you. Good job. Big things are going to happen in your life. Big things are going to happen, hopefully. Hey, I just realized something. It's actually called Robert's Building. Yep, good. There you go. You're good. It is called Robert Building. I don't think we're going to be able to remove this. I wonder if it's historical. It would have a historical marker on the building. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do a paint job on the outside. Remove this. It's got to get removed or painted or something. But I mean, look, there's there's downtown Denton, like just straight up downtown. This is this is gonna work. This is gonna be good. We're not gonna remove the Roberts Building thing. It's too too awesome. Oh, those things are finally clean. They came out looking pretty tasty. If you guys have not seen that video, you guys need to go check it out. I actually got to harvest the biggest buck of my life. That video went up live yesterday. I don't think we're gonna get to see the boat today. The, the sun's going down quite a bit and I think we've got about 40 minutes of sunlight left like at all and I know inside where the where the boat is you guys know I keep it inside that storage unit right now. It'll be pitch black in there in like five minutes so it's not gonna work but I am going to get my rods and pretty much I, I got well this is not going. You guys already know that. That doesn't go in the boat. But everything else, I got. I wanna. I think I'm actually going to sift through it tonight to make sure, like, when I get there in the morning, it, it's it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be ready to go. I'm not gonna have to fiddle around with anything. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. I'm sure there's a lot of baits that are misplaced. That kind of happens to us fishermen. You know what I mean? We, we kind of misplace. We just kind of throw stuff in a little little box here and there as we're as we're trying to move along our day. So I'm, I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, don't really know what I'm gonna show you guys. Tell you guys right now, if you have not cleaned out your boat and you own one in a year, year and a half, maybe even maximum two years, you're crazy. You need to do it. Wow, did I have a lot of junk in these boxes. I'm talking, I've emptied out two containers like that. No, like this one right here. Two of those full of empty soft plastic bags or just onesies, twosies, messed up plastics. I'm, I'm telling you, if you haven't done it, you guys need to do it. I think I'm going to start calling it the winter cleaning because 
right now, I mean, I do I do have a little bit of Guggenbaits, got a box full. It's pretty much all I've got, but hopefully by spring we're gonna have a bunch of stuff released for you guys. I'm pretty excited to announce that, but we haven't really officially announced it. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out the pipeline that I'm really, really excited about, but for the most part, all of our production has gone either to Big Box or to you guys, which I do appreciate everybody has purchased any of the Guggenbaits. It's, it's done really well, but yeah, hopefully by spring I'll have like a giant, just, uh, I just can't wait to show you guys everything that's coming, so. But anyway, I want to flip this on and let you know. If you haven't cleaned your boat out, one million percent. Not, I was going to say 1,000, but one million percent. Go in there. I bet you got onesies and twosies everywhere. Hey, there she is. Look at her. Oh, doesn't she look pretty? I'm, I'm excited just to show you guys everything that's going on with this thing. It is completely different than my last boat, like way different. And uh, like I said, I want to say thanks again to Fun and Sun and Skeeter. Uh, for the Fun and Sun location in, in Hearst, you guys can get, uh, they have a giant selection of Guggen Baits and Guggen Apparel there. Uh, they're a big supporter of us. And yeah, that's pretty much, I like to say thanks to them, of course. For, for being awesome stuff. I'm gonna go through this. Uh, I, I guess I could show you guys some of it before. It only take like a second. I guess I can do that. Let's make sure it's cresting the boat with not so dirty shoes. We didn't bring the boots or the hat today. We don't make sure we don't get no cow doo-doo on here. But I will say this, out the gate skeeter did change one thing. You know how you guys can usually can turn their, I don't, I don't know, these little twisty knob deals. You usually spin them all the way around and they were just kind of annoying. There's only one way now. Look at that. That's all I spin. And then, uh, a topsy kind of stuck there, but oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys some of this stuff. Ah, oh, it smells so good, it's so smooth. I got the uh Guggen Bait colors, as you guys can see, the green and the black. I wonder if we can get kind of shot from back here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got good flake in there. We got some, um, well, this is my first time ever having fender glass, fender glass, fiberglass, fender wells. Combine the two words, fender glass. Pfft. Making new stuff up every day. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I did ask on Twitter and Instagram, do you guys want this? And you guys said yes. I've never done one of these before. Maybe like at the very beginning of the channel, I may have done like a boat walkthrough, but I, I feel like it's necessary. This is freaking awesome. I'm excited. Uh, I've got a lot of baits to go through. So I'm gonna put them on the deck of the boat and then we'll go from there. Big difference between this one and my last one is my last one had like a, it was a double door like this. I wasn't a big fan of it at all. Wasn't a big fan of it. This one's just one single. Oh, it's gonna be dark, so I gotta pull up some light for you guys. There we go. Uh, it comes with all the boxes out the gate. Look at that. Every single one of those boxes come in there. You can fit six rods in here, uh, that's, which is pretty neat. And then it comes with a net. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there's a net there. I wonder if I can just pop this up a little bit. There we go. Comes with a net, already attached. So what I think is really cool about having this one box right here in the middle and six rods, like say if I know I'm gonna be fishing just a certain kind of technique and I know what I wanna be doing, I can put all the rods I wanna use for that day inside of here and any spares I need over here just in case I step on a rod and snap it in two or beat it against a tree or something, I could, I could pick up another rod and I'm good to go. I do, I'm a giant fan of this just one turn deal. Every single one of these boxes, I mean, gosh dang, you could fit how many rods in here? One, two, three, four. You could fit 20 rods in that son of a gun easy. 26, you could probably put 40 rods on this boat. What the heck? Jeez Louise. Uh, there's some cool little neat features like this Skeeter emblem deal. Let me see if I can turn this on for you guys. Hopefully you can still see me. I'm sure it's getting kind of dark. So oh, cool, it's like a cockpit now. I got like, like crazy buttons. Look, whoa, those things turn on. It's pretty neat, huh? And then uh, power, Ring. look at that. You got a radio, which is Never had a boat with a radio. I've actually got a, uh, a jack plate on this boat. Never had one with a jack plate. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Uh, I'll tell you what, I got a 15 inch graph right here and a 12 inch on the front. 15 inch and a 12 inch. And the kind of stuff that these things do now is absolutely absurd. This thing's like a squishy little ice box tray. Uh, I know my last boat definitely didn't have this where it was squishy. Uh, two cup holders here, which is pretty, pretty crucial. Oh, I know the biggest feature well, there's one right there too, but I'm gonna, the biggest feature that Rackley and I probably like the most on this boat is the fact we get cup holders. Look at that. Yeah. Cup holders and utensil holders. They also, I guess now uh, coming from the factory because a lot of people are having to buy like, like aftermarket these things. These right here, as you guys, these, uh, those, you guys see, the, I, I don't know what they're called. Basically just mounts that lift your stuff up. People were actually buying those aftermarket and now from the factory, Skeeter is putting those on and then also the ones on the dash so you don't have to go out 
and buy it. Uh, so that's, that's pretty neat. But uh, you know what, let me, let me grab some of this stuff, figure out really where I want to put it, and kind of go from there. There's a bunch of, I, I'm telling you guys, there's some stuff on here that, oh, I, like this, I want to show you this, and I kind of got sidetracked. Oh, there's a trash can, squirrel moments. Who doesn't want a trash can on their boat? First time ever having one of those. So I'm going to flip this on. Okay, power, uh, lights. Watch, Bagow. Isn't that cool? Bagow. Anyway, there's a lot of small little features on this thing. I'll show you guys here in a second, but let me go ahead and grab some of the some of the old tackle and we'll go from there. So this is the right side. You can put like, I don't know, 20 extra rods in there. That's the left side. I think I'm gonna keep my rods on this side because the box goes back, I don't know, about eight inches or so farther back, which makes it a lot easier to get the rods in and out. But this side, which is cool on both sides, actually, it's got like this, uh, this FX sticker thing in here, but it's got like some grip on it. So when I put my stuff in there, kind of, they're not going to slide around. So that's where I'll put all my excess stuff will be on this side. And I keep all my bulk stuff. Like when I, I when I package everything, I package in this big stuff and I just keep it in there. Which you guys will see in a second. Just wanted to throw it out there before we got too far. Okay, so, so far I got just about every single thing in here. I will say this. Let's see if I can, if I can hold this just right there. Oh, okay, hello. All right, so we're going to try to... We'll hold it there just for now. So you guys see these little panel things right here. This is this this is awesome, but all these boxes, they come with a boat. I'm not gonna use them. And I'm really glad that they put these in here where you can actually take them out because let's take this frog box out of here real quick. I think I'm gonna keep my frogs in this box. I was kind of thinking about putting them somewhere else, but like I don't know. Just keep them by themselves, they won't get crimped. But so like on these ones, they weren't fitting in there completely like these. Look, there's a little metal thing in between there as you guys can see these right there that's what's holding these in see what I mean they kind of slide on in but with these ones they weren't fitting at all like they were just a little too snug you know what I mean so just removed one from the middle right there and now look now they just kind of they kind of do their thing stick two in there easy peasy done look at that I will say this I'm going to want to write the name of what it is right there so I don't have to pull out every single time and be like, okay, what is it? What am I looking at here? So I can just be like, oh, crankbaits, oh, the square bills, oh, deep divers, oh, lipless, you know what I mean? So I pretty much got that part worked out. I will say, oh, let me get this light off real quick. I will say I'm a big fan of this layout right here. It's given me a lot of opportunity. So all my hard baits, like all my, my hard stuff, like even my terminal tackle, which I'm gonna try to figure out here in a second, will be in this middle box. Like all my hard baits and everything that's pretty much not a soft plastic will be right here, which is awesome. I do need to get my, the, the terminal thing has, has never been my favorite. It's been in this box for, since, since my last boat and I just I always wanted something that I could put it all in I'm not a fan of this I've never been a fan of this this thing weighs like freaking I don't know 10 pounds it's not really that enjoyable to have when you're trying to you just want to get like one little tiny hook out so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here for a second and try to contemplate how I can get something to work inside of this but I've got all my bulk baits all throughout here just I'm not a big fan of taking like the Guggen baits you don't want to take them like out of the package well, I guess you could, but it wouldn't really make any sense because they're inside of a clamshell keeping their form. So it really never really, it really has never made much sense to take them out of there. So I'm trying to alleviate that. Okay, going to figure out this. In the back of the boat, back left hand corner, I think uh, always, well, I guess back right hand corner, back right hand corner, right behind the driver's seat. I always have all my life vest in. That's pretty much what's inside of that. That's more of a storage unit one. But I'm going to figure this out and I'll show you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the, the walkthrough. As I, as I got everything onto the deck of the boat, I was like, wow, it's kind of overwhelming. You kind of got to get everything back in the, into the right spots. But I've, I mean, I've done this for a few years now, so I kind of know exactly how to set up uh, a boat efficiently. So hopefully this might help some of you guys or gals on your maybe your next adventure of buying a boat. So let me see if I can kind of contemplate life here and figure out how I want to do this. God, that's a lot of tongues. It's a lot of tongues. And I mean, think about it. Ounce and a half, two ounce tungstens. You only use them like a couple times a year. Like I, gotta, I really got to figure that out. What do I want to do? Update, we've turned that entire box into two separate things. This is my main box. This is like my, well, my stuff I use constantly. We got punching rigs, punching rigs, normal weights, uh, Carolina beads and stuff like that. More heavy punching stuff. Just, just your average, just your, just your average stuff. This is my excess. That's just going to go into a little bin. And this is pretty much my super excess that of stuff that i may use at some point mainly a bunch of swim bait stuff as you can tell that should fit nicely i haven't tested it out but i'm going to right now 
I just cut down a ton of weight. So like if I just need hooks and weights, grab this, pegs, whatever, good to go. It still weighs about 40 pounds, but at least it'll fit inside the box. So I thought I'd at least show you guys this so you guys can have an idea exactly what this thing can do. Like, look at the music. Like, it's a freaking radio. Look at that. Go ahead and mute that real quick. You can connect your phone. See some other crazy stuff you can do. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So what did I press the other day that was insane? Look at that, the slides. Oh yeah, look at this. Gives me the freaking sunset and the moon. You know how crucial that is? Tells me how much daylight's remaining, what moon phase I'm in, what time the sun's coming up, what time is it setting. Look at that. That is, that's crazy to me. I don't know if you guys realize how important that is when it comes to spawn season. I mean, man, how, what time, how many, what moon phase are we in? So just look it on my phone, I just click this and we're good to go. Gosh dang, that is freaking awesome. Let's see what else that's on here. I mean, you guys can't see anything clearly because nothing's, nothing's moving, but this is, look at this. Well, those are the images, you don't need to worry about that. Oh, super bright, go ahead and just do that, but look at this. So look how cool this feature is. Well, um, let's say you're on this, this thing right here and you guys want to see something that's like, you want to see this main screen, two fingers, look, comes up. You want to get out of it? Swipe down, think. Was it swipe down with two fingers? Yeah, swipe down with two fingers, comes out of it, or you can just press the button. Look, two fingers, comes up. Oh, wait, I don't want to press that button. That's, that's even better, look at that. Wow, that is easy. I don't know much about these things, but Anyway, thought that would show you guys that. This is freaking awesome. Never had a radio on a boat in my life. Oh no, that white boat had one. On a bass boat, how about that? So I guess I'll go ahead and click on those courtesy lights. Look at that, comes up underneath here, comes all the way through, got some right there, got some right there. I mean, it is pretty much lit all this stuff. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. That was kind of idiotic, but that's cool. I think that's awesome, that thing lights up. So I was gonna stick the rods in there, but it's not really smart to stick your rods inside those, those little holes because let me rephrase that you can stick it in as long as you have rod sock on because it'll slide through but if you put them in there without the rod sock you'll yank it out or shove it in that's what she said and you'll knock off one of the eyelets like right out the gate but this is pretty much it this is the last little bit i'll show you guys a lot of you guys i don't know T take a gander this side's your day box i've got two swim baits i think jacob wheeler actually gave me this one this is actually a really good swim bait right there uh, appreciate shout, shout out to jacob uh this cutting light Always scales. Two are always on this boat from now on. Thank you, Rackley. We do that because of you. And then this is soft plastics, hard stuff, rods. Trash can? You need that. And yes. Oh, baby, I love you. Oh, yeah. One more thing, one more thing. I just thought about something. So there's no more like inserting a drain plug yourself. There's just a knob right here. You just literally turn and the drain plug goes in and you unturn and the drain plug comes out. So no more like Rackley and Rob-isms where we kind of forget to put drain plugs in. But one thing we do have to do, we still have to unstrap the boats. That's, that's something, you know, that we're never really probably ever gonna get away from because you kind of have to do that. But yeah, I mean, guys, it's, it's got so much stuff on it. I, I, I don't really know all of it yet. Uh, normal little toggle switches up here. Like I said earlier, none of the electronics are ever like mounted directly to the boat anymore in these FX series. So that's, that's pretty neat. I don't know. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I, I, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I guess this thing swings out too. That swings in and out. Uh, they put this, they upgraded these because on the older Skeeters they had a white one on there and I actually cracked mine. So I'm glad, glad they did that, but still got some wax on the bottom of the boat, but good to go. I'm pretty excited to get this sucker out there. I am, I'm actually more than excited to get this thing out there, which should be here after Christmas. Hey, if you guys watch this video before Christmas, I want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. Hope you guys had a great time with your holidays. Or excuse me, hope you guys have a great time with your family during this holidays. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking out this and uh, hanging out with me while I had to get this thing knocked out for you guys and for myself. I'm so excited for spawn season. Ugh. You guys know the deal. Click that video right there. If you see the one, hey, click the one right below. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. Do the I love that.